going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love, and we are back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to do a part two, as I promised to the previous live stream. Does a man's authority make him the author of his life? Make sure y'all go and check out part one. The links to part one will be down in the description box. But I definitely want to bring you guys a part two. So without further ado, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Bring you guys this video. And throughout the video, I will be stopping and leaving my commentary. Fair use, fair use, fair use, fair use. Let me put up my fair use banner as well. Fair use YouTube. This is for educational purposes only YouTube. Fair use, fair use. The choice in the street. You can survive. But usually there's a paper bag of money that makes you do something that's against that honor code. And that's the thing that gets you jammed up. Compromise yourself. Yeah. And yeah. the things he taught me was don't ever compromise. You know, and it's not just him. He walks around with an OG. Right. And that's what Harlem dudes do. Now, let me ask you, you, you talk about Harlem a lot. You know, I'm whether, from Harlem. Whether you're just talking or mm -hmm. from a long time. How did you meet up with Jay-Z? Times in business, you feel like you haven't been honorable and fair? Never. Now, shout out to Dame Dash. Shout out to Dame Dash. And... With that being said, just what we heard from that part of the interview, do you all now understand what I mean by when I ask the question, does a man's authority make him the author of his life? He said, we're going to come back and we're going to take it. And none of us will have a boss. We'll all be bosses. See, to speak with a level of confidence like that, it takes authority and, and, and it takes a level of belief in oneself. Believing in yourself and in believing in God will, will, will give you that authority. It'll, it'll, it'll give you that strength. It'll give you that ambition. It'll, it'll give you that zeal to want to go out and, and, and accomplish it as a man. But a lot of us brothers, we have lost that. We have lost that. We have forgotten about that. Assume the authority, the God given authority in your life. Before you want to run out here to impress some woman. What about you? Worry about you. Put you first. You are first. The, the, the God given order is God, man, woman, child. Understand this, fellas. So you have the authority. You're the author. You're the author of your life. That's why you're the leader of your family. You see? Because the family starts with you. It starts with you impregnating a woman. You and a woman coming together. And you impregnating her. You see? 
But you first have to understand that you have the authority to do so. And you must live that way. Not to prove it to a woman, but live that way for yourself. And we can learn from guys like Dame. He can remind us. He is the forerunner for all of the entrepreneurial stuff that we got going on and had been going on in the past 10 years. It started from that interview. When he challenged Charlemagne, when he challenged Envy. And now... Eight years later, or going on eight years later, Charlemagne's no longer at the Breakfast Club. Neither is Angela Yee or DJ Envy. Angela Yee has yips, lip service, excuse me. Charlemagne the God has his own stuff going on, and so does Envy. So even though they were upset at that time. They didn't agree with it at that time. Look at how this show proves true. Authority makes you an author of your life. They assume the authority so they can have control. So they can dictate how it goes, how much money they make, the quality of life they have, the time they spend with their family, all the things that he spoke on. All the things that he said will be affected. Because you haven't assumed authority in your life. That's all Dame was saying. And now look at all of these online businesses. Look at all of these people working for themselves. Look at all the people after the pandemic who don't want to go back and work for nobody. Now y'all may say, oh, well, that ain't got nothing to do with Dame. Well, I always had that mindset. Cool. Cool. But what about the millions of people who watched that interview who didn't? Think about that. Stop being so quick to not give a black man his credit. Shout out to Dame Dash, man. Make sure y'all get down in the comment section and leave your comments. And let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all also get down in the description box and check out part one. Check out part one to this show. I appreciate y'all for tuning into the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content. Right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to all you visionaries. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.